Well, good morning. Brandon and I are on Ladybird Lake, or Town Lake as it's called, uh, doing a little retro bassing challenge. Uh, but Mr. Brandon does not know what kind of challenge we're doing today. Any guesses? Oh, man. Always an adventure. No, what are we up for? You ever played Home Run Derby before? Hell yeah, I have. We're playing Home Run Derby today on Town Lake. <laughs> we are fishing with the biggest old school baits that I could find. And of course, hook Brandon up with some new school versions of the same thing. I don't know if you can hear that chirping, but right there is the bat bridge. That sounds like, like a thousand locusts. That is so loud. It's a lot of noise. That's a very high pitched, freaky squeaking sound. Wow. <laughs> you got a net? Ooh, there's one. Got one, finally. Finally. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, barely. Barely hooked? Barely. It has been, it's been a tough morning. We got a ladybird early, and we were struggling to find some fish. Brandon got a nice one. Guggen Mondo Worm. Dude, awesome fish. Pretty fish. Dude, that is awesome. Right off the bottom of that worm. Swallowed it, but yep. It's a nice fish. Great fish. Uh. Dude, who cares? Oh! He might be a little bigger than I thought, man. Yeah? Ooh! Dude, he's taking some line. That situation? Yeah, I no, got him. Not quite. I'll yeah. look at him. Ha ha! Bam! So I switched it up, went with the... <laughs> I don't know what that is. A nine inch flip tail worm. Not a big bass, but man, I'm, I'm just glad we got one. Quick question, man. Yeah. You know, I'll answer that. I'll ask the question for the YouTube comment section. What's that around your neck? This is a, uh, a headset designed for truckers. Comes in handy for uh, work conference calls. <laughs> you know, I got this from the retro basser himself, Mr. Chris over here. It's a little retro bassing hack for you guys. It's funny, but I think the past, what, three trips we've been on with Brandon, he's missed the fish every trip because he's had a work call every <laughs> single time. Look at this beaut. <laughs> Do you wear that to like HEB too? I wear it everywhere. I live for this thing now. This thing is a savior. The best part is, like, people move out of your way. If, if you roll with one of these, nobody messes with you. Hold on, look at this. <laughs> Just look at this. You messing with me? No. No. Nobody's messing with this. <laughs> it's another day in the office. <laughs> you should have rod your hand. I know. Brandon's on a work call and he's got a fish. All right, I'm on mute here. <laughs> He's on mute. <laughs> oh, Bluetooth headset strikes again. You almost took me off mute, you fish. <laughs> See that guy. <laughs> hey, Brandon, how's your conference call going, buddy? Uh, it's going well. This guy's got a busted lip. That's why I couldn't grab it. 
Okay. Oh, we'll get him back in the water. I got to get off mute here. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> just pisses me off. <laughs> Dude. That's the key. You got to get on a call. You got to get on a call. On a Bluetooth headset. That was when it comes to, to bass fishing, I, I think the number one lesson you can learn is that if your buddy in the back starts catching fish, you got to do whatever he's doing. If he's fishing a worm, you got to fish a worm. If he's fishing a certain color, you got to fish a certain color. And in this case, if he happens to be fishing with a Bluetooth headset because he's on a work call, well, get your headset on. See the looks we're getting from the pedestrians? What? They don't want to mess with this. The pedestrians. Everyone who walks by. Is I just realized what we look like. <laughs> <laughs> we look like a couple. Race car too. We look like a couple of jerks. I don't know. <laughs> I think people who walk by, they're curious if there's people who are bass fishing here in a boat, and then they kind of look at our headgear and they're just confused. <laughs> like we're talking to each other. As am I. Maybe we. That's a great. We, you can talk to your buddy on the boat, but if there's like other boats within earshot, you don't want to give up a spot. That's perfect. Hey, Brandon. Hey Brandon, I see a, a, a fish over here, but don't tell the other guys. Chris, I copy loud and clear. <laughs> All right, dude. So right, right here. He was shallow, man. Come on, buddy. Bam! Woo, nice. <laughs> Muscle worm. He was right up underneath one of those, uh, one of those bushes. That was awesome. Oh, thank you, sir. Dude, check out that fish. Not too bad. Nice little large mouth. I've got a weird jaw on him here, man. It's like a short, funky, awesome. Let's let him go. Got us another one. Is that another uh, Guggen bait fish? That was a Kraken crack and Craw on a little football jig. I think you're on the verge of like leaving the re retro bass until you join the Guggen squad. <laughs> it's too bad you're not that funny. <laughs> out there today. Like cooked. Ended up with a couple fish, a uh, pretty good day. As per usual, uh, Brandon outfished me. By the way, you're not allowed to outfish the guy whose show it is. Like, you can't, that's like rule number one. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> hey. 